Some person asked me a very smart question. He said, boss, what is the difference between a diaphragmatic breath and a belly breath? Now, I have been talking about this like all the way back already in different videos. This will be the first video where I only focus on that. Okay, so 95% of us is breathing incorrect. Don't believe me, please Google it. You, These are scientists who uh, figured this out. I didn't, I just repeat what the scientists say. I was breathing incorrect, all my friends are breathing incorrect, and the 5% of the people that are breathing correct, they probably had breathing classes. This is how bad it is, it is. Okay, so when they come in, they raise their shoulders, right? They raise their shoulders. This is how they breathe, only the top part of their chest and their lungs. Now note that four to six of these shoulder raising breaths is the same as one diaphragmatic breath. So it's a gigantic difference. But to get the attention all the way from your high chest down, we say, go to the belly. Because now you will start focusing on pushing your belly out, completely the opposite. Then when you're four to six weeks into that and you start instinctively, without thinking, you start breathing diaphragmatically or actually by using your belly, then we say to you, hey, let's raise it two inches because the diaphragm is located at the bottom. It's attached at the, the bottom of your rib cage. That's where you should feel your diaphragm activation. So then going from belly breathing only two inches up to diaphragmatic breathing is much easier for you to get than going from shoulder raising breaths, trying to go to here and then trying to go to there. We figured out it's better to go all the way to the belly, get inside your head, now you get it, just raise it a little tiny bit, and now you are diaphragmatically breathing. Now, there's another word for it. We call it horizontal breathing, and then this is vertical breath. A vertical breath, a horizontal breath, or shoulder raising breath, chest breath, or diaphragmatic breath. There you have it. I hope I answered your question.